here in Columbus, the work to end gun violence is far from over, but Columbus police and the community are working side by side to end it. Today, Columbus police held their first ever gun buyback program. If you brought in a gun, you were paid with a gift card. Tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon spoke with one man who says this program is one of a kind. It's personal for him, it being gun violence, and he wants it out of his community. My dad was killed, my uncle's paralyzed, uh, friends are dead. Uh, being wrapped up in gun violence so close, I started using guns. That's why it's a mission for Dwayne Dunbar. Each victim is going through something singular. That gun violence stops. But it only takes one gun to create a victim. Anything that helps fix the issue, he welcomes, including a new approach. I don't know any other program that can report 100 guns that they've taken off the street. Until now, Columbus police worked with people in the community to take nearly 100 firearms off the streets. The same streets Dunbar is working in with the organization International to International. During the program, police bought 73 handguns, 11 shotguns, and 13 rifles. If you've taken 100 guns off the streets, you've probably saved 100 lives today. And at the end of the day, all the weapons that we collect will be weapons that are no longer on the streets of the city of Columbus. Public Safety Director Robert Clark calls the program a success. First, the weapons will be run through the system. If they're stolen, they'll be given to the original owner. But if the gun was involved in a crime, detectives will then take over. The rest will be destroyed. It's still very personal to Dunbar, but Saturday showed him change will come. It is inspiring because you know that number of guns could have still been on the street. Hopefully we can continue to do it for a number of days. In Columbus, Richard Solomon, 10 TV News. The Public Safety Director's Office says the final numbers of how many guns were received will be done on Monday.